Here is another example on trigonometric functions. We need to evaluate the limit as x approaches pi for 1 plus cos cube x over sine square x. If I substitute pi here, what do I get? I get 1 plus cos cube pi over sine square pi. Now cos cube pi is negative 1, so we get 1 minus 1 and uh, cos square pi is 0, so we get 0 over 0. Now surely it is indeterminate form. Now the main question which comes at this stage is, should we apply Laputa's rule? That is the main question, right? So sometimes it may be like killing a bird with a cannon. You have to always uh, understand this. Now in this kind of a situation, let me provide you with an alternate method, which is without La Pita's rule, okay? So let's rewrite this question, which is limit x approaches pi, and we have one plus cos cube x over sine square x. Now, what we are going to do here is apply factor the numerator, which is 1 plus uh, cos cube x using the formula a cube plus b cube. So let me write here a cube plus b cube, right? So a cube plus b cube could be written as a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square, correct? The denominator sine square x could be written as 1 minus cos square x, which can also be factored, correct? So let's use factoring techniques. 0 over 0 also indicate that we have common factors in numerator and denominator, which makes this 0 over 0. So taking advantage of this, we should try factoring it so the numerator could be written as 1 plus cos x times cos square x plus product which is cos x plus 1 divided by sine square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x and now we can factor the denominator i'm sorry this is pi x approaches pi so we have 1 plus cos x times cos square x plus cos x plus 1 over 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x, correct? So there is a common factor 1 plus cos x which cancels out. Now we can substitute pi and we can get our result. So we have cos square pi plus cos pi plus 1 over 1 minus cos pi, correct? So cos square pi means minus 1 whole square and uh, cos pi, I'm sorry, the formula is wrong. This should be negative here. This should be negative here, right? Minus. Uh, minus cos pi is minus 1 uh, plus 1 divided by 1 minus minus 1. So that gives you, this is positive 1 plus positive 1 plus positive 1 over 2. So the answer is 3 over 2. So you can easily find this limit and the answer is 3 over 2. Correct? So there is no point factoring it since you may have to, I mean, no point using law capitals. So basically there is no point finding the derivatives of numerator and denominator when you can do by simple uh, factoring of uh, the trigonometric functions. So I prefer